This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this Friday, 16th April 2021. I am Adetola Kayode. You're welcome. President Muhammadu Buhari has asked the new IG Usman Baba not to disappoint Nigerians whose expectations are high following his appointment. Returning after a two-week medical leave to the United Kingdom, Mr. President reiterated his confidence in the acting IG, who he said has all the prerequisite experience and trainings to secure the country. On the performance of the service chiefs, the president said they have so far tried their best to relieve the country of the security crisis, expressing hope that their best will be enough to stabilize the country. President Wari says his medical checkup went very well and he is set for the task ahead. Here's some good news for those who have been trying to get SIM cards to no avail. The federal government, through the Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, says issuance of new SIM cards will resume on April 19th, so long verification is done. The government suspended the activity in December 2020 to pave way for the subscriber registration database audit. The exercise, according to the ministry, is to help verify and ensure compliance by mobile network operators with set quality standards and requirements of SIM card registration. The Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy says the country is set to implement the revised national digital identity policy for SIM card registration. Governor Babajide Sonwolu has flagged off the construction of the Lagos Red Line project, which has the capacity of transporting 500,000 persons daily for the first phase and double that number after the completion of the second phase. Mr. Governor revealed that the 37-kilometer rail route with 12 proposed stations running from Agbado to Marina will be constructed simultaneously and share tracks with the Lagos Ibadan Railway modernization projects by the federal government. For the 260 property of Affected by the project's right of way. Checks were presented to owners as compensation at the event, which had in attendance dignitaries from all walks of life. In response to what it called cyber attacks and other hostile acts, the U.S. has announced sanctions against Russia for harmful foreign activities. The measures will target dozens of Russian entities and officials. These measures target dozens of Russian entities and officials. The White House, in a statement, says Russian intelligence was behind last year's massive solar winds hack, accusing Moscow of interference in the 2020 elections. Russia has, however, denied all allegations in its response. The Sanctions are detailed in an executive order signed by President Joe Biden and coming at a tense time for relations between the two countries. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Detola Coyote. And it's a Friday. Go out there, have some fun, and enjoy the weekend. Have a great one.